Josie, obviously NBL one South, and of course Pink Round this weekend coming up in the league. What does Pink Round mean to you? Uh, Pink Round means a lot for me and my family and the basketball community as well because, yeah, my mum went through breast cancer and then was later diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer. So not only is the Pink Round so important to me, but also the fact that donations are also going to the Seconds Count Gala. So it's not only just for breast cancer, it's also for that secondary cancer which is why this round is really special for me. It's good that we can use the power of basketball. It's not just about sport, it's about other things as well and bringing, helping where we can. And of course, uh, we, we Friday night, obviously, yes, as you say, we, we split the, the um, donations half and half, so that's fantastic to hear. How important is it for everyone to see if they can dig deep and uh, donate generously on the night? Oh, it's so important because that was a journey that my mum went on and not just for her but for the family and friends and we just want to do as much as we can to find a cure and it's important for both as well and back to that seconds count donations as well the majority of donations for pink ribbon goes to breast cancer and there's only a small percentage that goes to the um, metastatic cancer um, research so that's why it's such a big deal having both very passionate about it and of course how much how much research have you put in yourself personally just to see where this all kind of goes um a lot <laughs> it's just being aware when we found out that mum was to go through this journey we wanted to be aware of what that involves and that's when we dug in deep and we wanted to know this information so that we can help people in the future who will have to go through the journey that mum went through so that's why we're very aware of the stats, statistics, what it actually means because mum's main goal was to help um, people in the future who have to go through it as well. And of course, tomorrow night we're all kind of dressing up in, in pink, myself and Joe Bear, we're going to get into some uh, pink shirts on, on commentary and I know a few other uh, volunteers and, and um, gay night staff will get amongst it as well too, but besides all the, the fun and, and the theme around it, which is fantastic, what, what can people do going forward to, to help kind of, you know, as you say, push, push to get more research done? Um, I think just being aware and getting involved in events like this and having the discussions as well and asking the questions if you know the person or the family feels comfortable with it. Like, for example, my family's very open about talking about the experience and that's how we can get the awareness of the um, seriousness of it and then so it's more motivation for the um, donations and things like that. Josie, lovely to hear from you as, as always and, and a wonderful personal connection you have uh, and we wish you all the best and we'll also throw your support to you as, as always and, and to your family. Uh, best of luck with tomorrow night with, with the game. We know we've got a game on, on as well too against the Elf and Wildcats but thanks for your time on Chargers TV. Yeah, no, thanks for having me. <laughs>